Pudding wines, sometimes called dessert wines, are sweet wines typically served with dessert. There is no simple definition of a dessert wine. In the UK, a dessert wine is considered to be any sweet wine drunk with a meal, as opposed to the white fortified wines Fino and Amontillado Sherry drunk before the meal, and the red fortified wines Port and Madeira drunk after it. Thus, most fortified wines are regarded as distinct from dessert wines, but some of the less strong fortified white wines, such as Pedro Jimenez Sherry and Muscat de Bumes de Venise, are regarded as honorary dessert wines. In the United States, by contrast, a dessert wine is legally defined as any wine over 14% alcohol by volume, which includes all fortified wines, and is taxed more highly as a result. This dates back to a time when the U.S. wine industry only made dessert wines by fortification, but such a classification is outdated now that modern yeast and viticulture can produce dry wines over 15% without fortification, yet German dessert wines can contain half that amount of alcohol. Examples include So Turns and Tokaji Asu. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Methods of production. Makers of dessert wines want to produce a wine containing high levels of both sugar and alcohol, yet the alcohol is made from sugar. There are many ways to increase sugar levels in the final wine. Grow grapes so that they naturally have sugar to spare for both sweetness and alcohol. Add sugar, either before fermentation as sugar or honey chaptalization. after fermentation as unfermented must sus reserve. Add alcohol, typically brandy before all the sugar is fermented, this is called fortification, or mutage. Remove water to concentrate the sugar in warm climates, by air drying the grapes to make raisin wine in frosty climates, by freezing out some of the water to make ice wine in damp temperate climates, by using a fungal infection, Botrytis cinerea, to desiccate the grapes with noble rot. <laughs> Natural sweetness In the absence of other techniques, makers of dessert wine have to produce their sugar in the vineyard. Some grape varieties, such as Muscat, Ortega and Huxelrebe, naturally produce a lot more sugar than others. Environmental conditions have a big effect on ultimate sugar levels. The vigneron can help by leaving the grapes on the vine until they are fully ripe, and by green harvesting and pruning to expose the young grapes to the sun. Green harvesting reduces the number of bunches on a vine early in the summer, so that the sugar production of the leaves is divided between fewer bunches. Unfortunately, the vigneron cannot control the sun, but a sunny year can help sugar levels a lot. The semi-sweet Auslis wines in the German wine classification are probably the best example of this approach. Most modern winemakers perceive that their customers want either fully dry or properly sweet dessert wines, so leave it to nature is currently out of fashion. But most of the muscats of ancient times were probably made this way, including the famous Constantia of South Africa. Topic: <laughs> Chaptalization. Honey was added to wine in Roman times, for sweetness and to increase the final strength of the wine. Today sugar is usually added in order to boost the alcohol levels of flabby, unripe wines rather than for sweetness, although a degree of chaptalization is permitted in the wines of many countries. German wines must declare whether they are natural or not, in any case, chaptalization is banned from the top tiers of German wines. Sus reserve The reserve of sweetness is a German technique in which unfermented must grape juice is added to the wine after fermentation. This increases the sweetness of the final wine, and dilutes the alcohol somewhat. In Germany the final wine can contain no more than 15% sus reserve by volume. Sus reserve allows winemakers to fully ferment the wine without having to worry about stopping fermentation before all the sugar has gone. Since sulfites are used to stop fermentation, this technique reduces the usage of sulfites. Sus reserve is used by other makers of German style wines, particularly in New Zealand. Topic: <laughs> Fortification. The main fortified wines drunk with dessert are sweet sherry, particularly Pedro Jimenez, and vins du naturels. 
The Pedro Ximenez dessert wine is unique because it is a raisin wine that is then fortified and aged in a Solera system like other sherries. Other sweet sherries such as Bristol cream may also be drunk as dessert wine. The production of vins du naturels was perfected by Arnaud de Villeneuve at the University of Montpellier in the 13th century and they are now quite common in the Languedoc Roussillon of southwest France. As the names suggest, Muscat de Bumes de Venise, Muscat de Rivesailtes, Muscat de Frontignan, Muscat de Lanel, Muscat de Miraval, and Muscat de Saint Jean Minervois are all made from the white Muscat grape, whilst Banyuls and Mori are made from red Grenache. Regardless of the grape, fermentation is stopped with up to 10% of 95% grape spirit. The Muscats are made in a somewhat oxidized style, the Grenache is less so. Raisin wine In ancient Carthage, a sweet wine called possum was made from air-dried grapes, and across the Malta Channel from the site of Carthage, similar wines are still made, called Moscato Passito di Pantelleria. Such wines were described by the Romans, and northern Italy is home to a number of Passito wines, where the grapes are dried on straw, on racks, or hung from the rafters. These wines include Vin Santo into which almond biscuits cantucci are traditionally dunked, Chachetra, Recioto di Sove drunk with the local version of Panettona and the sweet red Recioto della Valpolicella which stands up to chocolate better than most wine. Across the Alps, the French make straw wine Vin de Paille in the Jura, Rhone and Alsace, the Spanish start off making a raisin wine with Pedro Jimenez before fortifying it, the Cypriots have their ancient commandaria and there have been recent experiments with the style in South Africa and the USA. <laughs> Ice wine Most wine laws require temperatures below at most minus 7 degrees Celsius 19 degrees Fahrenheit before the grapes for ice wine can be picked. At such temperatures, some of the water in the grapes freezes out, but the sugars and other solids remain dissolved in the remaining juice. If the grapes are pressed whilst frozen, a very concentrated must can result, which needs special yeast and a long time to ferment. The resulting wines are very sweet, but with lots of balancing acidity. The minuscule yields mean they tend to be very expensive. The most famous ice wines are German ice wine and Canadian ice wine, but apart from these, ice wine is also made in the United States, Austria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Slovenia, Hungary, Italy, Australia, France and New Zealand in smaller quantities. Noble rot wine Some of the most famous dessert wines, such as Chateau Deakim of Sauternes and Tokaji Asu of Tokai Hegelja in Hungary, or Seewinkel in Austria are made using grapes moldy with Botrytis cinerea, which sucks water out of the grape whilst imparting flavors of honey and apricot to the future wine. The fungus requires specific conditions to produce noble rot, if it is too damp, the same fungus causes destructive grey rot. Vignerones must ensure that they maximize the amount of noble rot without losing the whole crop to grey rot. Typically, noble rot forms best in conditions where morning mist forms from a nearby lake or the sea. The wait for noble rot to form is the reason why noble rot wines are usually late harvested. The first noble rot wines were likely created by accident. Both the Hungarians and the Germans have similar stories of how the harvest was delayed for some reason, but the moldy grapes were vinified anyway and then found to be delicious. Given that propensity to noble rot was a factor in Hungarian vineyard demarcations some 50 years before a messenger was supposedly mugged on his way to Schloss Johannesburg in Germany, the Hungarians probably have a better case. Noble rot is responsible for many other dessert wines, including Biranoslis and Trockenbiranoslis of the German wine classification, French Monbasilic, Austrian Biranoslis, Osbrich, and TBA other wines from all over the world. Serving A general rule is that the wine should be sweeter than the food it is served with. A perfectly ripe peach has been described as the ideal partner for many dessert wines, whereas it makes sense not to drink wine at all with many chocolate and toffee based dishes. Red dessert wines like Recioto della Valpolicella and fortified wines like the Vin du Naturel Muscats are the best matches for such difficult to pair desserts. 
Quite often, the wine itself can be a dessert, but bakery sweets can make a good match, particularly with a little bitterness like the almond biscuits that are dunked in vin santo. A development of this matching of contrasts is a rich savory dish like the foie gras that is a traditional partner to sauternes. White dessert wines are generally served somewhat chilled, but can be easily served too cold. Red dessert wines are served at room temperature or slightly chilled. 